So I first met Danny at our Maslin Goodwill store. He was in the long-term work adjustment program and I worked with him for a period of six months um, where we worked on his focus and his self-confidence. Um, and he was just phenomenal. When he was hired at Giant Eagle, I was his job coach, and uh, so I worked with him very closely for, for the first week or two, but Daniel, he's kind of a natural. He just goes and he talks to people and he is so friendly. Well, I actually grew up on a grain farm in a small town, and it was, it's a family farm. It's been a family for a long time, and I, I always enjoyed living up and being raised on it. And I'm also a Christian, and I really love the Lord, and that's part of the reason I took this job at Giant Eagle, because I love people. I love to help people. Well, actually, my journey, journey started when I was actually working for a job training program at the Maslin Goodwill, doing donor door, pulling clothing poles, and um, sorting, and and cleaning. His favorite thing to do while he was at the Maslin Goodwill store was to work at the donor door. He loved to see the people, all the different people that came through to make donations. A lot of them remembered him from day to day. He knew most of them on a first name basis and he just really loved that interaction. The job train program ended which I actually went outside of Goodwill and try to find community employment. A job developer will come and meet with um, a person, or Danny in this case, uh, and work on job development skills such as writing a resume, um, filling out applications, going on job interviews. I got interviewed for Giant Eagle and then I got hired almost as soon as I got interviewed for it. I actually worked, I uh, have, have worked there two years and uh, I've really enjoyed it. Once employment is obtained, then a job coach can come out and help them keep that employment. In the beginning, our, our biggest concern was that he was too friendly. <laughs> he wouldn't get his work done because he was so busy talking to and helping all the customers that, that the carts would pile up a little bit. One of his coworkers got him started in a game, and the game was collect all the carts and bring them into the, uh, to the store. And, and that really helped because it got him to focus on going out to each corral, getting all the carts and bringing them in. I'm what's called a parking lot attendant, which actually incorporates a different a variety of tasks like pushing carts, changing the trash out daily, and putting go backs away and also helping people out their car with carryouts. And I'm starting to get you know, actual regulars um, that come in all the time, and they're like, hey, Dan. And like, I'm like, what's up? <laughs> uh, and, and that's a good feeling, too, to be able to have actual certain customers you can call regulars and, and like from helping out every day. It's important for the community to support Goodwill because there are thousands of people in our area who, who don't know um, how to get out there and become independent and successful and employed for the long term. It is no surprise that Daniel is receiving this award. I knew that he would do great once he got a community job and, and he has been able to maintain that employment. I, I was happy to, to win something like this for myself, but actually more. Um, it's, it's nice that they have a war like this to show people's progress and success in the community. I felt like it was a great honor. I appreciated everything that actually Goodwill and Johnny Eagle have both done for me.